Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the PaloView iMic. This is a microphone for lightning connected devices like your iPhone, your iPod, and your iPads. And we are going to use it with my iPhone today, but we're gonna unbox it and take a look at it and then test it out and see how it sounds. And here we go. Okay, here is a look at the box here. This is the Palaview iMic, and we can just see here there's a little bit of branding, some registration information for uh, for the FCC, more branding on this side, some uh, some copyright registration or trademark registration for Apple. And uh, yeah, on the bottom here we have where it says iMic for made for iPhone, iPad, and iPod, some manufacturing information, and then uh, we have a barcode for Amazon. And I did check on there. This mic here right now is $99.99 and it is uh, $20 off here. So I don't know if you can see that, but we'll check that out there. So there you go. It's maybe a little bit easier to see. So that is $99.99 with $20 off. So you can get this mic for about 80 bucks. And if you notice, it looks a lot like the Shure MV88. So, all right, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, out of the package here. And, uh, and we're gonna get some uh, user information, a user guide up here, user manual, so it tells us how to get it. And uh, yeah, it looks like there might be an app that we need here. So um, yeah, it looks like we may have to get an app there. So let's go ahead and we'll check that out in a minute. Let's set that off to the side. First things first, we get a nice little case here, which is nice to keep the microphone in. And then um, we can see the microphone here. And yeah, very much, it looks very, very similar to the Shure MV88 in its uh, styling as far as how this is going to work. Um, there is a little back, a little backstop right there, so it only rotates one way. Um, so it folds there. You can also put it up straight, but it won't go back. The hinge will not rotate all the way um, the other direction there. So yeah, here is the lightning connector. So it connects onto your, uh, to your phones. And it does come with a foam wind puff. We don't get a, uh, a furry dead cat, so that may be an issue for some people if you're outside in, uh, in uh, very windy uh, conditions. It has sort of a square um, capsule on there, and you may be able to see on here it says right, uh, it says R for right and uh, L for left, so you have that. I believe this actually rotates. Yes, it does, so you can rotate that if you want, um, but and you can see there it's a little square on the uh, on the foam wind puff there. So, all right, let's uh, let's get this back in here. And I'm gonna grab my phone right here. This is my iPhone 11 Pro Max. Um, one thing you should be uh, one thing you should notice if you have a microphone like this, a lightning connected microphone, is that you want to make sure that you have the bottom, uh, that if you have a case on your phone, the bottom of it is cut out like this, that you have a case that has the bottom part open so that when you put your microphone in, you can actually slide it in and it's not inhibited. Now, some microphones will actually, um, some microphones will actually have this part covered up and there won't be enough room for you to actually plug your microphone in. This one looks like it has a bit of clearance in there, so you might actually be able to get this on with a case on there. So, now one thing I did wanna notice here is that this actually has a, um, it looks like there is a charging port on here. So you can actually use this microphone with, um, you know, it looks like you're gonna be able to charge this micro, uh, charge your phone while you're using this microphone so you'll be able to power them. Now it looks like this is a USB-C, versus lightning, but I'm not sure, so I'm gonna have to check on that, to double check, but. And then on this side here, we have a headphone jack, so we can actually monitor our audio and see how it sounds, so. All right, um, let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up, try it out, and uh, actually see what it sounds like in a couple different uh, situations. Okay, so I have the microphone ready to go. I have the app downloaded. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app and I'm just gonna throw all this on the screen so that you can follow along with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app right there. We can see it's gonna say, please connect your device. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the microphone uh, right here and get that plugged in. And we're gonna see that it's gonna open up right away. And so now, it's at the last place that I had it set at. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in some headphones so that I can actually monitor this. And I have the monitor button actually, the monitor slider turned on there. And I have my mic gain set to uh, negative five dB. 
I don't have any meter settings on there, and I actually have the polar pattern set to a uh, to the uh, narrow polar pattern right there. So it's a mono, it's a narrow mono pickup pattern. So now on here you can change some uh some different settings on here and one of the things that you can do is change the actual pickup pattern so i'm going to go ahead and do that now i'm going to change this this is going to be the uh that's going to be the dual channel the dual side uh dual channel pickup pattern they have it in the uh they actually have it listed in the uh, user guide which which is which so this is going to be called the mid side dual channel and then you can switch it over here and this is going to be the uh, this is going to be the mono left right or uh, mono on both sides as they call it so you can get an idea of what these are going to sound like differently i'm going to go ahead and go back to this one here which is the more narrow pickup pattern this is the one that i actually prefer and now you can also change things by uh, by distance. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select like one meter, two meter, three meter, so you can get an idea of what that sounds like. So I'm going to go one meter, and we can see that's going to automatically bump us up to uh, to zero dB right there. I'm going to go ahead and change it to two meters. This is going to move us up to three dB to a plus three dB, and then I'm going to go over to uh, three meters. And that's going to take us up to uh, 6 dB, to a plus 6 dB. Now, you can go all the way up to uh, plus 10 if you want to. So that's going to be plus 10. It's going to be way too hot. So I'm going to take this back down to 1 meter. And actually, I'm going to draw, hit the speech button again. The speech button is going to take us back down to, uh, to where it's not going to show any distance rating. It's going to drop us to a negative 5 dB. This is where I need it for myself because I'm really loud and, you know, I just blow microphones out because I just talk very, very loud anyway. So um, you do have the option of having um, some uh, different settings here for music. So we'll click that and we can see that music is going to jump us up to 6 dB. And well, this one looks like a keyboard. That's going uh, to put us up at plus 8 and it's going to have... Uh, it's also going to change the polar pickup pattern to that that uh, dual side uh, channel polar pickup pattern. We're going to do guitar. That's going to leave us on the same uh, the same what is it they call it mid side dual channel uh, pickup pattern, and it's going to drop us down to negative or excuse me just to zero dB. And then when we go to speakers, the speakers is going to take us to negative two. It's going to keep us at the same uh, mid side dual channel. A polar pickup pattern and then back to speech that's going to take us back to that narrow heart-shaped structure pickup pattern at a negative 5 db so all right um, before we actually head outside i want to give you one more sample inside of what the uh, iphone microphones just the regular built-in iphone microphones sound like and then we'll go outside and we'll vlog with us a little bit but first, let's go ahead and just do a quick sample of what the iPhone microphones sound like, just the, the iPhone mics alone, so you have some point of reference to compare it against. All right, so I went ahead and unplugged the microphone, and what you're hearing right now is just audio coming from my iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm just using the built-in microphones of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now, there is one thing I wanted to mention, and that is with the uh, PaloView app, I didn't see a record button anywhere on the app. I believe you have to use another app to actually record your audio. I believe that the Palaview app is just to control the settings of the microphone, and then the microphone uh, retains the settings and it goes to whatever app that you want to use. So um, if you're using the video app or maybe the screen sharing, the screen capture app or any other sort of uh, recording app that you might download onto your iPhone, this microphone will can be used as the microphone audio source. So, all right. Anyways, let's go outside now because I want to test this microphone and see how it vlogs and see if there's going to be a bunch of handling noise while I'm walking and hand holding it. So let's go outside and test this in a vlogging situation and we'll see if I can find some other ways to test this microphone as well. So I need to interrupt this video and tell you that the levels that I'm seeing inside the Palaview app don't really reflect the levels that I'm seeing inside of my computer as I'm editing. When I had the microphone set to negative 5 dB, I was getting about, you know, negative 12, negative 6, somewhere in between there on my uh, levels, on my uh, audio levels. But 
when I bring it into my editor here, when I'm using Final Cut Pro, I'm not seeing anywhere near that. I'm getting like negative 20, you know, negative 18 dB. And really the settings that sound better on this mic are probably about zero dB to plus three dB. So in the future, if I record with this microphone, I'll, I'll boost up the gain levels to negative, uh, excuse me, to zero dB or plus uh, three dB because negative five where I had it at for speech is really just too low. All right, with that said, let's jump right back into it. All right, everyone, I am outside now and I am filming with my iPhone 11 Pro Max with the Palaview iMic plugged in and I have it set to uh, negative 5 dB and I am filming with the uh, mono, the narrow mono pickup pattern. So yeah, this is what you can expect if you are filming with similar uh, settings. And again, I'm pretty loud so you know, you may have to drop your, uh, you may have to drop your, uh, your gain down more if you are louder or you may have to raise it up a little bit if you are uh, if you speak softer than I do so all right um, let's go ahead and unplug the mic right quick so we can hear what it sounds like if you're recording with just the uh, the iPhones built-in mics alone okay so I went ahead and unplugged the iMic and I have it here and right now what I'm doing is recording with just the built-in microphones of the iPhone 11 Pro Max so that is what you're hearing right now are just the built-in microphones of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So yeah, um, I have to say that I think you can probably tell there's a big difference between the two different microphones. Now it's up to you to decide which one you like the best, but I'm gonna go do one more quick test to decide, you know, to help people decide uh, which one they like the best. So I'm gonna head over to a little area where there's some running water and we're just gonna run through the different uh, pickup patterns and see how that sounds. Okay, so here's some running water right here and it just sort of goes down into a drain, but there is a nice pond that's out here. And so the water is sort of running out there. It's a little bit of wind out here, so you might hear a little bit of wind noise, but what I'm gonna do is actually go ahead and just point the camera right about over here where we can see the water uh, in here running. It's directly in front of us. And we'll just go do the, through the different polar pickup patterns and see what it sounds like and what the differences are, if any. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run through some of the different presets and polar patterns so you can hear what it sounds like, what the differences are. So I'm uh, right now set on speech at negative five dB and I'm at the, uh, the narrow mono pickup pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this now. This right here is the, the uh, dual side uh, the, the mid side dual channel. I'm going to go ahead and move this now over to the, uh, the dual mono, the, the left right mono. And let's go ahead and go through the instrument settings now. That is the uh, music setting right there. That's going to take us to a uh, to the narrow mono pickup pattern. That is the uh, piano instrument setting there. That's going to be a uh, mid side dual channel setting at plus eight dB. This is the guitar setting. That is going to be a uh, mid-side dual channel at uh, 0 dB. This is going to be the speaker setting. This is also going to be a mid-channel, uh, uh, mid-side dual channel at negative 2 dB. We'll take this back to the speed setting. This is going to be the narrow pickup pattern at negative 5 dB.
Now one point sort of off topic of this mic in particular, but just something as far as my reviews. As of late, when I do microphone reviews, I've had people ask me, why are you wearing that uh, face mask on your face when you're outside? And they call me all kinds of names and they call my face mask all kinds of names. I just want to remind people that we are in the middle of a global pandemic. And here in the United States, we have had over uh, 570,000 people die from COVID-19. And when I'm out in public, I adhere to the mask mandate of my state and wear a face mask to protect myself and others around me. So if you don't like a face mask, I'm sorry. This is not political. This is a life-saving measure for myself and my fellow citizen. So uh, yeah, all right, let's head back into the house and wrap this thing up. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Paloview iMic. And yeah, I have to say, this is a pretty cool little mic. I really like the fact that you can uh, that you can adjust it in, you know, in either way that you want, either straightforward there, or you can angle it towards yourself or towards your subject. I like that you can change the pickup patterns and you can change the gain levels and there's presets and customizations in there that you can make in the app. Um, I, I'm surprised that they don't have a record feature in that app so that you can actually record. That would be very helpful if you were someone who just wanted to record audio alone. But if you're someone that already has a favorite app that you use to record, this is nice so that you can continue to use that app and just use this microphone as your, as your microphone source. So um, there are a couple of things that you should take note of. Like one, if you are going to record with this, make sure you put your phone into airplane mode or do not disturb uh, or both so that you don't get interference noise from cell signals or from emails or text messages or other notifications coming in or from phone calls. Also, one thing I just wanted to point out is that, again, I mentioned this mic looks very, very similar to the uh, the Shure MV88. And yeah, we can take a look and see. These look very, very similar. They just look a lot alike. Um, but this one, half the price. I mean, this one's about 200 bucks. This one's about 99 bucks. And on Amazon at the time of this video, there is a $20 off coupon. So it's really 80 bucks. So it's making it less than half the price of the Shure MV88. So if you were looking at the two of them, this is an option that you might want to consider. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave a link to it down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can reach me elsewhere and see all the other products and services that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.